Severe weather crossed the nation's midsection on Friday, stretching from Texas with baseball-sized hail to snow in the Great Lakes. There could be more bad weather ahead for the weekend, including some potentially damaging storms. We go to meteorologist Matt Brickman at our Minneapolis station WCCO. Matt, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. Yeah, today is a chance to catch our breath before things ramp up a little bit later on this weekend. Sunshine will help melt that snow over the upper Midwest where we saw close to a foot around Minneapolis. A couple of scattered showers in Denver and down for the side of the NCAA Final Four in North Texas. Out east, just some cloud cover and temperatures in the 50s from Boston to New York down to Philadelphia and highs right around 60 degrees today in Washington. These are the thunderstorms we're watching along the Gulf Coast. They're going to be generally scattered today and not particularly dangerous. However, as we get into the day tomorrow, there will be a threat of severe well weather developing out of the Gulf Coast that will be rising up into parts of Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi and Alabama, and then moving further to the northeast up into Atlanta and into the Carolinas, where severe weather will be possible both Sunday and into the day on Monday as well. I know it's not something we like to see, but with severe weather starting to become more prominent. Anthony and Vanita, it's certainly a sign that spring is here. Yes, we'll take any break we can get. Meteorologist Matt Brickman for our Minneapolis station WCCO. Thank you.